Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the visa exemption, specifically in the context of the recent announcements of expanding the visa exemption in terms of both nationality, as we've discussed at length, they've added a number of nationalities that can now arrive in Thailand visa-free, but also expanding the overall duration of certain visa exemptions. If people that watch this channel recall, some weeks ago I discussed the fact that the United States and Canada seem to be on the list for getting a 90-day visa exemption on arrival. Well, I saw a comment on a recent video where we were discussing the overall expansion of the exemption program to specifically Chinese nationals, and I read this comment, quote, whatever happened to the 90-day exemption? Well, yeah, that's a good question. As we discussed, they were talking about expanding the 90-day exemption to Americans and Canadians. They'd already started allowing it for Russians and Kazakhs, I believe, folks from Kazakhstan. But as of yet, we have not seen this expansion. That said, I dived a little bit on this. I did a bit of a deep dive. Well, not a deep dive, but I, I checked it out, did a little research. And I came to a recent article in the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, TAT Calls for Extended Tourist Visas. Quoting directly, 90 days stays for Russians proving popular and more long haul countries should be added. Quoting directly, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, TAT, is asking the government to extend the visa-free stay duration for long-haul tourists, including those from the United States and Europe, to 90 days, aiming to lift the long-haul revenue to 40% of the country's total in 2024. Quoting further, Thailand currently offers, offers tourist visas on arrival. That's not really true. They offer exemption to visa status on arrival. So I get it. I'm not trying to be unnecessarily pedantic. But honestly, these little nuances confuse people, and I've seen people get into issues that cause them problems in a real-world context. So let's be clear what this is. We're talking about a visa exemption stamp. So this is, you get on a plane, you come to the United States, or excuse me, you come to Thailand, and depending on your nationality, you're granted an exemption from visa status for a certain duration, meaning you don't have a visa per se, but you're exempted from it. You have lawful status in Thailand. That's why it's called visa exempt. It's not a tourist visa on arrival. Tourist visas are a different thing. They can be obtained at embassies and consulates abroad. Then you travel to Thailand and you're admitted on that visa, but you do have a visa. It's not an exemption. Quoting again, Thailand currently offers tourist visas on arrival. Again, they mean exemption to nationals of more than 60 countries, including the US, the UK, Germany, France, and Scandinavian nations. Most are, eligible to, most are eligible to stay for 30 days before they must apply for a visa. Well, that, that's not necessarily true. You may not be able to convert into a visa in Thailand using an exemption. That's not a foregone conclusion. You may have to leave, you know, border runs, as we've discussed in many other videos. You may have to do a border run, hop out of the country, come back in, get another stamp that allows for lawful status. Or you may have to do what I call a visa run, which is you go to another country, go to an embassy, apply for a visa at that embassy, get that visa, come back to Thailand. It may be possible to convert into visa status. We discussed this at length both before, during, and after COVID because there were different things associated with the discretion to allow conversion during the emergency decree before and after. Again, it is not a foregone conclusion that you can just convert in country into a visa off of a visa exemption. That's gonna be at immigration's discretion and in, many, and in many circumstances, they don't exercise that discretion favorably to allow someone to convert into an actual visa status. Now that said, again, that's all gonna be driven by circumstance. So different cases are gonna vary differently depending on, again, the facts in that case. But the thing to take away from this video is as of now, no, there has been no extension of the exemption status for Americans, for example, as well as other Western countries. We still are only granted, if you will, only granted 30 days of exemption status upon arrival. As discussed in other videos, there's also a rule regarding two border runs per year which are allowed, which if used properly, as discussed in another video specifically, one could get 120 days of lawful status in Thailand 
using that methodology. Not perfect, a lot of moving parts to that, so many people don't opt to go down that road. But that being said, it may be possible to convert into long-term status or maybe get a non-immigrant visa and go ahead and maintain long-term status that way here in the Kingdom of Thailand.